So sometimes we have to convert between pKa and just um, Ka. And sometimes we also want to convert maybe between P, uh, let's see, PKB and uh, KB. All right, so uh, first of all, the first thing we should mention here, I guess, is if you take the P of something, here we're taking the P of KA, here we're taking the P of KB. If you take the P of something, whatever, it doesn't matter, anything, basically what that means, uh, we're taking the negative log of that whatever. Um, good to know. This is a good shortcut to know. Um, because, so, for an example, if we're taking, uh, let's say, the, if we want to know the pKa, uh, this is equal to the negative log, negative log of Ka. And likely, uh, or likewise, uh, I guess, if we want, you know, the P, uh, pKb, well, this is just uh, the negative log, here we go, uh, is the negative log of the Kb, and we know whatever we're dealing with. So if we want, you know, if we have Ka, that's all we have to do. Now, if we have pKa and we want Ka, we just use a few little log tricks here, and we can just say that the Ka, we can just reor uh, rearrange this. The Ka is just going to be equal to 10 to the power of negative P. K A. So again, same thing. Uh, if we want KB, uh, that's all it is, is 10 to the negative PKB. So uh, with that said, uh, let's just do a little example here. Um, we know from the last video that the KA of acetic acid is um, here, let's do it up here, is one point here. Let's write this. KA is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Okay, so if we want to find the pKa of acetic acid, all we have to do is take the negative log, uh, sorry, let's write this here, pKa is equal to negative log of this number, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Okay, so then um, if we just punch this in our calculator, um, negative log of this number, our pKa is going to be equal to, well, we'll just round it, we'll say that's one, uh, 4.7. It's actually about 4.7447. It just keeps going on, but 4.7 is probably good enough for us. Um, and now let's just double check, let's make sure this works, and say we want to find the Ka given the pKa. Well, we can just keep going with this and do exactly what we said down here that Ka is equal to 10 to the negative pKa, so it'll be negative 4.7447, etc. Uh, we punch this in our calculators, and again we'll find Ka is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Now you can do this with any Ka, pKa, or any Kb and pKb, it's all the same. And yeah, that's just how you convert between the two of them.